Okay, well don't Google it. Simple, because that's the biggest mistake anyone can do and it's really tempting. Never Google it. Yeah, never Google it, because uh, if you do that, you might as well go and book your coffin. Don't be frightened of it. Listen to your doctors. Do what your doctors say. Know your limitations and don't let anybody tell you what you can do and what you can't do. Well, the Emphasis magazine that comes through, um, the association, everything like that, anything you can get your hands on that's not fabricated, anything to help. You know, even if you ask your hospital for, um, if they know anyone around who, yeah, because to begin with, I didn't know anybody. I mean, I don't know, Andy certainly didn't and still doesn't know any women very close to him. Um, I'm quite lucky that I've men met a few not too far from here. And they are my family and I can probably talk to them a lot easier and more open than I would to my own family because they understand it. What they're feeling won't last in that kind of concentrated amount. I remember feeling like everything was hopeless and I had people telling me this will be your normal, you will get used to that and I wanted to fight against that because I didn't want it to be normal. So my advice would be allow yourself time to grieve. Put yourself first, you've got to be selfish. If you want to go on living you have got to be selfish. If you get up on the morning, pat yourself on the back. If you go and make yourself a cup of tea, another pat on the back. Embrace what you can do, and what you can't do, don't worry about it. I'd say get onto the PH group, um, because it's only people who have PH who are on there. Um, because it's such a lonely illness, there's not many people, um, I mean, God, I haven't met anyone in my area with it. Um, it's very scary to be told these things. You go into that, that group and you've got people there who are there to help you and they're there day or night because you, sometimes you well, we can't sleep very well and stuff like that. There's always somebody there that will answer any question, any question at all. And it does bring down that, that you've spiked up, oh my God, what is wrong with me? Um, I'm going to die. And then you go into the, and one thing I find reassuring is uh, there's people in there who were diagnosed now no, 20 years ago and they're still alive. They're still living with their own heart and lungs, you know, um, um, and the, the, they're just on the oral medication like I am. And that is such a, an uplifting thing to, to read and listen to and talk to. To those who are newly diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension, I would say, do not worry. There is help and support out there. And um, live life to the full. Pulmonary hypertension will change your life. But, it, but as I always say, PH lives with me, not the other way around.